Yo, what is up guys? My name is Iron Boffin, coach of your Rochester Ride-Ons, and we are here for week one of the MPA. Now, here's, I'm going to do a little team builder for you guys. Um, if you guys like these, let me know, because I'll do these every week before the before the actual match. Usually, I do them together, like right before the battle, I'll run through my team real quick. But I think I want to do individual team team builders uh, this year. We'll give that a shot. But anyway, guys, let's run down his team real quick, just so you know what I'm prepping for. His, uh, he's got, uh, his tier one is Necrozma. Obviously, Necrozma is terrifying. King of setups. So you're going to see me uh, play around that a little bit because Necrozma is insane. Necrozma is very scary. It's got like things like iron defense. It's got things like calm mind, stored power. It can just, it can be very scary. It can be very scary. And then he's got uh, the Tangrowth. He's got the Metagross, Palisand, Quillfish, I don't know, Mega Low Punny, Greninja, Suicune, Sigalyph, and Typhlosion. So very good team wrapping up, rounding out from his side. Anyway, guys, I'm going to run through what I'm bringing. And first off, we got this very interesting uh, Latio set. It's a bold set. It's very defensive. It's supposed to take hits from like Metagross. Uh, low Punny, it can take a hit from. But yeah, so I'm a pretty bulky defensive set. So I'm pretty excited for that. We got Combine Roost. If I can get some Combines up, I can run through his team. There's nothing that can break my Combines. Uh, if I start setting up Combine, there's nothing that is going to break through me. And I'll run away with the game. And then I have Roost. You know, just so like I can get. I'm like extreme. This is a very, very bulky set. I have like no special attack. I have like speed uh hp and a little bit of defense so it's a very bulky set just trying to get up those cob mines and then attack back with like side shocks and shadow ball those are the only two coverage moves i need side shock hits everything shadow ball hits uh the metagross the only thing i don't have coverage for is the greninja so i'll have to try to kill his greninja before i set up with latios so you'll see me try to play around like that next mon we got we got my suicune counter we got blastoise happy the blastoise we got Rapid Spin, Scald, Roar, and Toxic. Basically, all this thing is supposed to do is supposed to take hits from things like Metagross. I can take two. I can take three. Th no, I can take two Thunder Punches. And live. The third one will kill me, but maybe I'll get a Scald Burn before then, or he'll be afraid of that, so he won't let me Scald Burn him anyway. So we have that. We have the Roar in case he wants to go like a sub Combine Suicune, just in case that happens. We have the Roar, which is really good because it will go through the sub. And we have Toxic, so I can Toxic his things like um, Tangrowth, uh, just like his bulky switchins, you know. I'm gonna be pretty loose with the toxic is just try to poison everything man So that's basically the goal there. We got the leftovers for a little bit of health back So yeah, pretty simple set there now. We got my boy Kratos the Blaziken. This thing is insane He has no switchings to Blaziken. Blaziken can do insane damage to him. We got the high jump kick the flare blitz the knockoff and the agility um, You also notice just make sure everybody notices this blaze Blaziken uh, speed boost is not allowed speed boost is banned But we have agility just in case if I feel like he's gonna switch out I can go for the agility see how that goes off if i can get the agility up i think i can win so i probably should have brought a scarf set but i couldn't win with scarf i had to get if, if i can get the agility off i can win the game just like that and we have the fightinium z um z close z high jump kick is going to do insane damage to whatever metagross doesn't want to take it um necrozma can take it pretty well but it doesn't take a flare blitz very well but you guys will see kratos is going to hopefully put in a lot of work this game i'm very excited for kratos and we got my boy magnezone no reason to steal trap the metagross because it gets earthquake so there's no reason to try to trap that that's a bad play we got the modest analytic we're pretty slow but thunderbolts are gonna hit hard we got really i have uh sped crept the metagross so i should outspeed a uh very minimal speed metagross um so that'll be cool it depends on his set he could uh metagross is faster than magnezone but depending on his like spread um i should be able to take it i should be able to outspeed him rather and we got the modest thunderbolts nothing wants to come in on this i don't think he has a ground type even uh, he has Palisand, so I can go for Flash Cannon if I expect that to come in. He can try to block my Volt Switches with Palisand, but you'll see me try to try to... Um, I expect that, you know, you can expect that. So I have the Flash Cannon for that. And then Explosion if I just feel like it. I didn't need another move, so I packed an Explosion for S's and G's. <laughs> just because, why not? We wouldn't want to see an exploding Magnezone, man. And our fourth mod, we got Doug. Dig Doug, the Sand Slasher, Pocket, Earthquake, Knockoff, Super Fang, Stealth Rock. Um... This thing can take two high jump kicks from a low punny. So that's basically the reason it's coming. It's like one of the few things on my team that can. We have Stealth Rock to get those up because uh, Stealth Rocks are always good. And we have the knockoff just in case I want to knock off like a... You could switch in like a Suicune into this. I can knock off its leftovers. Um, what else does he have? I can knock off like Necrozma. Any, any, any of his mons I can knock off, which is really good. Earthquake is general stab. You know, hit the Metagross and all that stuff. And we got Super Fang. In case he wants to switch, I can do half to anything. Literally anything I can do half to. So that's good. Because I this isn't um, offensively invested. It's a defensive uh, sand slash. So super fan can be pretty good that way and get half damage on whatever. So that's pretty good. And then rounding out the squad, we got my main girl. We got Bellatrix the Sylveon, one of my favorite Pokemon. 
in the draft league format as always dude i love sylveon we got protect wish hyper voice shadow ball pretty uh pretty uh standard set you know we got leftovers we got modest pixelate all that good stuff man this thing is just supposed to um tank a couple hits hyper voice protect wish all that general general nonsense man so pretty basic set pretty uh general you know pretty easy to get you know it's very elementary <laughs> and then uh shadow ball is for the metagross because obviously his best switch into sylveon is going to be metagross and if i can toss up a shadow ball that's a good bit of chip damage on him and metagross doesn't really have any form of recovery so it could be some pretty good damage anyway guys that's going to be the team builder let me know if you guys want to see these every week i can do these for you they're not too bad well, that's going to wrap up the squad for week one hopefully we can start off with a win i'm really excited uh like i said i spent a lot of time team prepping and i'm going to play uh king bub uh just after this so i'm super excited to play him in uh anyway guys that's gonna be it for me i'll catch you guys uh tomorrow for the battle i'll catch you guys later peace